Team Foundation Server supports a lot of different ways of sharing files between projects and solutions. In this particular video, I'm going to illustrate one specific way of sharing a common set of files between multiple projects. In this case, I have console application and Windows application as my two projects. What we'll do is create a shared file that these two projects will reference. So whenever a change is made to that shared file, both projects will see those changes immediately. Now this type of sharing isn't right for every scenario. Um, you can accidentally introduce breaking changes by editing that shared file in let's say the Windows application project and introduce a breaking change into the console application project. But there are a lot of scenarios where you do want to share the exact same instance of a file between two different projects. So the first thing we'll do is create a folder inside of our source control. We'll call it shared files. And then we'll create the actual file that we want to share. In this case, we'll just do a basic Visual C Sharp file. And I'll save that into my shared files local workspace. And we'll check in our changes. So notice that I'm working from the new folder and add files uh, features inside the source control explorer. Because these shared files are just standalone source files, we're working outside the usual Visual Studio solution or project system. So now let's add references to that shared file from both of our projects. I've got my console application project open, so we'll add a reference to it, to our shared file. Now, if I were to hit the Add button now, what Visual Studio will do is copy sharedfile.cs into my console application project folder, um, or make a copy of that file and put it in my project folder. That's not the type of sharing that we want to do in this case. We want to make sure we share this exact instance of a file with everyone else. So what I'll do is do add as link. And that'll create just a reference to my sharedfile.cs file. And we'll check those changes in. Also got my Windows application project open, so I'll do the exact same thing. We'll add shared file, but we'll add it as a link. And we'll check those changes in. Now since I'm looking at my Windows application, let's go and access sharedfile.cs. You'll notice this little icon to indicate that I have a link to this file rather than an actual um, copy of it. So what we'll do is just make a change to the constructor. And check that change in. So now since I've made a change to my shared file, I should see it immediately in my console application project. So if I switch to that, I can see that sharedfile.cs has been edited. And when I uh, pick up those changes, I can immediately see the change that we made in our Windows application project. So sharing one file between two different projects. Again, this model of sharing isn't right for every scenario, but in the cases where you want to make sure that there's one file shared among several different projects, and if that one file were to change, though all of the multiple projects referencing it picks up those changes, then using a shared file and the add as link feature inside of Visual Studio with Team Foundation Server is the way to go.